bottle cap. Paul needs to tell you she'll be in this morning. Okay, fine. Make a nice change. Oh, thanks, Paul. I'm glad you're feeling up to work again. And why shouldn't I be? Well, Pete said you were a bit down. Yeah, well, Pete should mind his own business a bit more. Are you all right now, eh? Yes, of course I am. But then again, I wasn't expecting a lot over Christmas. Yeah. Well, don't worry, we're not going fast. In fact, when we have quite been going over the books. Things are looking quite healthy. Oh, yeah? Yeah, not bad at all. Listen, Kath, how much do you think this place is worth now? Do you reckon it's worth more than when we bought it? I don't know. Why, you think they're selling up and retiring on the profit? Of course not, don't be silly. Did you manage without me? Yeah, of course we did. I'd have rather managed with you, though, but Mrs. Red Chung's pretty good. I don't like letting people down. You do, Paul. Don't be silly. That one must be cold by now. Do you want a fresh one? No, no, it's okay, thanks. You all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Mm. Took a bit down. Just thinking. Look, Rachel, if it's about the other night... What other night? Well, New Year's Eve, you know, Ian's shooting his mouth off in the vehicle. Oh, that. Well, I know he said a lot of stupid things, and... I know it must be very hurtful. I've heard worse. Well, the thing is, he's had a rotten year one way and another. I mean, all this front he puts out, it's only, you know, he's covering up for things. Look, Cathy, I appreciate your concern, but it's okay, really. You shouldn't be apologizing to your son. Well, that's very nice of you. Not at all. Yeah, yeah, he was obnoxious. And I wouldn't mind an apology, but if there's going to be one at all, I think it should be from him, don't you? They've got to stand on their own two feet sometime, haven't they? Well, I just thought I'd let you know. It was one of the most embarrassing moments I've had for a long time. Well, you're just being oversensitive. I mean, you shouldn't pay any attention to what people like her think. I mean, she's a waste of space. Yeah? Well, from what I can gather, that's pretty much the way she feels about you. Obnoxious is the word she used. Really? Huh. I don't see what's so funny about it, Ian. For some strange reason, I actually get quite upset when people call my son names. I don't like having to apologise for you. Then don't do it, then. Ian, look, you can't go on like this. Like what? Being, well, being obnoxious. Look, I know this is a bad time of year for your love. We've been through all that. But people's patience is starting to wear thin. Look, Mum, I know you mean well, but I don't give a damn what people think. Well, then give a damn what I think, will you? I'm sick and tired of apologising for you, making excuses for you, and having people feel sorry for me because of you. And for what it's worth, Ian, my patience has just about worn right through. Thank you.